let's talk about matrices and what they are. So matrices are simply an array of numbers that are arranged in rows, which are horizontal, and columns, which are vertical. So here in particular, we see that there are three horizontal rows like this. So we have three rows and we have two vertical columns like this. So we have two columns. Now this is how we represent matrices in general. Okay, so this in your screen right now is an M by N matrix. So it has an M number of rows and N number of columns. Okay, what's important to note is how I represent these elements. Earlier, they were numbers, but now it's in this notation. Okay, so A is just an arbitrary representation of matrix A, but these subscripts are what's important. So this first number is the row and the second number is the column. So for example, if I say the element A22, that's the element in row 2 and column 2. Matrices are pretty special. You can do lots of operations on matrices. Later on in linear algebra, you'll learn how to do diagonalization or even taking the inverse of a matrix. But for now, let's focus on the very basic operations that you can do with matrices. In particular, adding matrices, subtracting matrices, and finally, multiplying a matrix by a scalar number. Let's add matrices A and B, which are both 2 by 2 matrices, to make the matrix C. Now remember, you can only add or subtract matrices that have the exact same dimensions. So for example, if this B was a 3 by 3 matrix, then this wouldn't work. So let's start. How we add matrices is we simply add each element together. Okay. So for example, first, let's add the top left or the A11 element with the top left of B or the B11 element to make 3. We continue on with all other numbers and we get 2 plus 1, so 2 plus 1 is also 3. Then we do 3 plus 3, which is 6. And we do 4 plus 4, which is 8. Okay, so that's how you add matrices. Subtracting matrices is extremely similar. So again, with each element, let's subtract A minus B. Okay? So A minus B, so 1 minus 2, that would be negative 1. Okay? Next, we go on to 2 minus 1 would be positive 1. Then 3 minus 3 is 0, and 4 minus 4 is 0. Very similar to adding matrices. Lastly, let's multiply a matrix by a scalar. So again, we have our matrix A, and we want to multiply that by the scalar 5. Okay, So we represent it like this, where 5 multiplied by the matrix gives you... Okay, So again, you end up with a matrix of the same dimensions. So you have a 2 by 2 matrix. And you multiply each element by the scalar. So for example, here our top left element is 1 times 5, so that's 5. Then 2 times 5 is 10. 3 times 5 is 15, and 4 times 5 is 20. So you end up with this matrix.